Hi friends, welcome back to another tutorial where today we're going to discuss how to edit in Lightroom like Jessica Cobasi. She's a very talented and skilled fashion photographer based out on the West Coast and she's someone I look up to very, very much, have been looking up to her ever since I started photography about two years ago. She's one of the people that actually got me hyped while scrolling through my Instagram first when I found out that photography was even a cool thing to do. So shout out to Jessica. Before we get this thing going, you know what we have to do? We have to roll that intro, so. Before we get this thing going today, I want to say something really quick. And that is that I love fidget spinners. I'm just kidding, I don't. I got this for Christmas and it's pretty cool. I use it sometimes, but I don't need it right now, so. In other news, what I really wanted to say was thank you guys for watching this video. I'm super stoked you're here with me right now and I'm excited to show you how to edit like Jessica Cobasi. But as a background on me, I haven't given you a background yet. My name is Alex Ivey. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts and I've been doing photo and graphic design for the past two years and I just recently have gotten into video and that's why I'm starting this YouTube channel because right when I first started taking photos, the only way I learned how to take my photos really is because I didn't go to school for it. I learned on YouTube and I learned through videos exactly like this. So I'm super hyped to bring this information to you guys. Pull that 360 around, become from the student to the teacher and help anyone out there get what they need to get done and answer any questions you may have. So I just wanted to show you my appreciation. I'm super stoked to have you guys here watching this. Let's get this thing going. So the first thing you want to do is obviously open up Lightroom. And when you do that, what I have done is in the develop mode, I have pulled up RA. That just means reference and active. On the right, there is my active photo. And on the left is a reference photo. This reference photo is actually Jessica Cabasi's photo I pulled from her website. This is a raw photo that I've taken for myself. I will leave this in a description below as well as this image on the left so you guys can test out or maybe even play along with me in this tutorial and see how you guys do in editing like Jessica Cobasi. So to get started, what I would like to do to get the look looking like her look is start with my basic corrections. And from my basic corrections, it looks like I want to bump up my exposure a good amount, probably to 0.60. Awesome, I'm going to leave my contrast as is for now. I'm gonna drop my highlights a little bit. I'm going to pull up my shadows a little bit. I'm gonna drop my whites a little bit. And I'm going to pull up my blacks a little bit. I'm going to increase the clarity probably to about plus 13. And I'm gonna close this basic. I'm gonna move on to tone curve. In tone curves, what I would like to do is really pull down these shadows down here. I want to pull up the mids. I want to even raise the highlights a little bit, but then I'm going to cut them off at the top because it looks like her highlights are blown out, washed away. And that's exactly the effect we're going to get by pulling down this top dot right here. This is where the highlights are. Awesome. And now it looks like her shadows aren't completely deep black. They're a little pulled back away, the little blown out also. So I'm gonna pull those shadows up just a little bit. Cool, but I'm also gonna add another dot here just to bring those deep shadows down a little bit, not as close to the black blacks, but close enough to the blacks where it's gonna add a little bit more blackness in, in the hair, blackness in the hair, on the, on the boots, everything like that. Awesome, so this is before tone curve and this is after tone curve already you can see quite the difference tone curve is a powerful tool we're going to skip hsl for now we're going to split we're going to skip split toning for now we're going to go into detail we're going to increase this detail quite a bit it looks like she shoots pretty wide open i did not hear i shot at f 3.5 i'm guessing this is probably like f 18 f 14 something crazy like that so I'm going to only have the detail masked around this area highlighted in white. I do that by holding Alt 
dragging my key, my key here, the masking key, over to the right, and that will show you where exactly the areas are going to mask. I'm going to cover the details. I'm going to open up lens corrections. I'm going to check the box for remove chromatic aberration. I'm going to probably level this picture out a little bit. Let's be real. This thing needs to be leveled up. Awesome. Effects. I'm going to definitely bring up the dehaze a little bit. I noticed that in the cement down here, it looks like the shadows are kind of dehazed a little bit. So we're going to add that to plus 12. Awesome. Camera calibration. I don't need much here. As you can see, the, the image's tones are pretty on point so far. I might bring these hues over to the right a little bit for the oranges. For the reds, I mean. I'm sorry. For the greens, I'm going to pull those greens over to probably a plus 15. The blue hues, I'm going to pull over to plus 2. The shadow tint, hmm. This is important right here. I'm thinking that we should pull this to probably negative seven. I see some greens all in here, but I'm definitely seeing some blues and purples, so we'll have to add those in later. Um, now we're gonna go back into basic. I'm gonna mess with the temperature a little bit. It looks like this image is a little cooler than what mine is, so I'm gonna drop this temperature just a little bit. Awesome. I'm going to move over the tint a little bit more, I think. Probably to negative three. Contrast, let's add some contrast to this. Awesome, plus 19 is good enough for me. She definitely drops the saturation in these images, so I'm gonna drop this overall saturation probably to negative, negative 10, and same the vibrance. Let's see how far we need to go down with that. Probably to negative five. Awesome. Now we're going to go to our maybe HSL time. Yep. I'm going to increase the saturation of the red specifically. I'm going to increase the purples. Even though there's barely any purples, I'm just going to increase it anyway. I'm going to increase the blues. There's a lot of blues in this image all through here. So I'm going to do that on mine as well. Awesome. I'm going to increase the oranges. I'm going to... Actually, what happens if we decrease those oranges? Yeah, that's that's looking a little bit better. And the yellows. The yellows, we can bump up to plus 20. Cool. Luminance. Do we want to play with any of this? Um, the greens. New... The blues? Maybe, yeah, we'll drop the blues down a little bit. Cool. And now the overall tone curves for the red curves. Let's see if we need to adjust this at all. Most of the time when I go in and edit photos, I just kind of play around until it looks good. That's kind of exactly what I'm doing here, so. I think we'll pull down the blues just you can't even tell really but it's it's off just by a, a small click let's go into the greens it's definitely a little bit more green on her image so I'm gonna go up with the greens and the highlights and down with the purples in the shadows but not too much like I say guys barely we want to barely touch this I'm gonna pull that point down a little bit more awesome now, in the blues, do we need to adjust any of this? Yeah, maybe I'll bring up the blues in the... the sh sh Actually, I'm going to yellow out the shadows a little bit by doing this by dragging it down past this line. And then, on the highlights, I'm going to bring up the blues a little bit. Cool. I'm going to close this. I am going to now go into my basic corrections again and I'm going to do another check with the highlights I think 
the highlights can be brought up a little bit. The whites maybe. Saturation, we can maybe drop this again. And I think that's it, guys. I think we have pretty much gone through everything possible. Oh, wait, no. Split toning. Let's go to the split toning real quick. Let's just add a little bit of orange to the highlights as well. Boom. Cool. Now we're done. I will bring both these photo up, photos up large view on the screen for you guys to see these things side by side. And that is it. So that's it for me, guys. If you guys like this video and maybe want to see a little bit more of how to edit like a specific photographer, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a nice thumbs up and subscribe on the bottom right hand side of your corner. It's all very much appreciated. And in the future, if you have any questions on graphic design, photography, or videography, please let me know and I will do my best to answer them. But that's all I have for today. So until next time, cheers.